Hey there everybody, how you doing? I am Francis and welcome to Sonic Overdrive, another game released for this year's Sage. You guys won't believe how long it took me to get this game uh, properly working, but we finally got it. And I'm excited to play it and I hope it was worth all the effort I had to go through to get this to run. So let's uh, press start and let's begin. Do you want to set up the engine? Yeah, sure. Change your keyboard and resolution settings. Uh, what's my controls? Any key for- Oh, I can set my own controls? Alright, cool. So, up, down, left, right. Action. Special. Enter. Awesome. Resolution's fine. Let's continue. Yeah, my volume's fine. Uh, choose your character. It can be Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, or Amy. Ah, I'll go with my boy Knuckles. Splash Zord. Sure. Splash sure. There we go. I don't know what the hell I said at first. Oh, what the hell is this though? This is actually pretty cool looking. It's like a uh, Sonic Blast, but you know, it actually looks good. <laughs> yeah, Sonic Blast. That's a game that we don't talk about much. I'm going to be playing that on the channel. I can't say it's going to be a good time though, but yeah, this is actually pretty nice. It's, it reminds me of Sonic Quest, but like I said, like, but it's good. Like, the graphics actually look good. Unlike in Sonic Quest, you know, where they look like crap, although that's... I think it's because they're trying to do so much on such a low-powered engine like the Master System slash Game Gear. But let's not talk about that. Let's talk about, you know, Sonic Overdrive. This game... I think it was worth all the work I went through to get this working because so far this is pretty cool. I must say. And we get to play as my boy Knuckles which is pretty nice. Not very often in Sonic games nowadays where we get to choose the character to play as, you know. Like, I know Sonic's the main character but it seems like with games nowadays, it's only Sonic. Like, I know it's called Sonic the Hedgehog, he's the main focus of the series but he's got, he's got friends, you know. And they deserve some love, you know. Just saying. Oh boy. These green crocodile dudes are everywhere. And some of their... Yeah, some of their placements are kind of cheeky. So far, my only gripe really with this game is... Uh, well, the enemy placements. Like, these guys are everywhere. And I just keep getting hit by them. Also, although some of them, it's just me, you know. But yeah, there are some cheeky enemy placements. Really my only gripe with this is there is there anything no there's nothing up here. I was about to say, is there a point to doing this? I guess I have to go down here. I don't know what just happened there. I like warped up the pipe again just to drop down. Oh these crocodiles, I hate them. I really do hate them. I want Oh boy. That one was all me though, not his placement being off. But yeah, these enemies are everywhere. <laughs> I'm just going to try and spin everywhere because when I don't, there's just going to be an enemy. There's enemies everywhere and I think that the, my best chance to not get hit at every turn is just to spin dash everywhere. So I think I'll be doing that. Hey, we beat the first level. Nice. Good job, Knuckles. Also, this game was made with the 58 engine, it says. I'm not very familiar with it, but it this is uh, giving me a good first impression of it, to say the least. Oh, now it looks kind of spooky. Yeah, the reason this took so long for me to boot up is for whatever reason, on the 58 engine uh, main screen, it kept crashing. Only that screen. Uh, I I'm in a lava, I can't get out. Oh, I can climb up. I guess that's why I couldn't get out because I was attached to the wall by spamming the jump button trying to get out. Okay. Let's go this way. Um, I can't go through that. How am I going to... Oh, okay. That was weird. 
Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Bye, world. <laughs> if the fall didn't kill me, the lava would have. <laughs> I like the music here. I like the atmosphere. I like the look. Any placement is kind of dickish and the lava does work kind of weird where I just sort of, you know, fall in it. Instead of standing on it, struggling for my life to get out as I get hurt. And this jump here is weird. I gotta jump there in order to go through because if I just spin up, I'm not getting through this ground here. Someone try to explain it that to me. No, no, I did it again. Ah, oh, boy. All right, let's try and be careful this time. Go down here, grab these. Go this way. And this is a Sonic game where you don't want to go fast. Oh God damn it! Because going fast gets you dead. I died twice because I had a, you know, a case of the fast. Which I'm supposed to when I play a Sonic game, right? So here we'll glide over the danger. Nice! We skipped right past the danger. Stay up here. Grab the flame shield. Should protect me from falling in the lava. Hopefully. Sometimes, uh, flame shields are just for show in Sonic fan games. Well, now we never know. It's gone. I got it just to lose it. I'm liking the music, though. It's pretty cool. I can jam out to this. Alright, I'm not going up there, I guess. I'll go this way. Oh, I guess I can go up. Nice! Let's uh, just run on through it. Can I keep climbing up? Can, is there anything else? There is, but I can't uh, climb through that. Alright. I can bounce up though. Aha, you can't stop the bounce. You can stop the fast. Why are enemies falling through the ground? I was gonna say, you can stop the fast, but you can't stop the bounce. As we got through Act 1. Boom. I guess there's no Act 2 or bosses, is this Act 1? Boom, beat the stage. Which, again, is okay. Numinous Height! Oh, this looks nice. We're like in a city and I just... I jumped and I apparently went through the ground. I don't know if I was supposed to, but I did. Yeah, right there. I think it's intentional though. There's gotta be enemies everywhere. Wait, my only grip with is the enemy person. That was weird. Yeah, there's literally enemies everywhere at every turn. You can't go one step for an enemy blasting you. Like I said, the best advice I guess would be to spin dash through the entire stage. If you ever stop, just spin dash and meet me again. Although, don't listen to me, otherwise you'll end up doing stuff like that. Let's go up. And... Let's go this way, yeah! Whoa! I almost fell there, that could've been bad. Oh my god. Whoa, where am I going? Holy jeez! Holy rip, that was so fast! That went so fast that the camera couldn't keep up. Hey, lyrical music, how about that? Wasn't expecting that, but I'll take it. Owie. Literally, enemies are everywhere. And th that is a problem I have with this game. The enemy placement is kind of dickish. They're literally everywhere. If you're not spinning, you're going to get hit. Ah. Alright, let's go up this way. Awesome. Just uh, keep on running, or spinning rather. Oh, that's kind of new for a uh, victory place to be. It's usually a long, flat terrain, and it's usually to the, you know, to the, to the right, not the left, but whatever.
It, it's never a bad time for a change. And that's the end. That's Sonic Overdrive. Nice. Based on the Sonic 4 Episode 1 and 2 by Sega. Oh boy, the Sonic 4 game. So, okay, well, here's uh, what I have to say about Sonic Overdrive. It was an okay game. I had some fun playing this game. It was actually pretty good. Keep up the good work if you're still going to be working on this. My only gripe would be to, well, I don't know a few of the bugs, obviously, but my main gripe was the enemy placements. They're literally everywhere. Calm down with the enemies. Take some away, okay? Thanks for playing. You are very welcome. I really hope you liked it, even though there were so many flaws. Yeah, and I apologize to any players who couldn't execute the game. And those that the game keeping in the middle of the showcase of, okay. Anyways, if you like the game, make sure to support me on my social media. Or if you want to help with the game development, feel free to do something, I think, Discord. Until then, see you next time. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Sonic uh, Alt Logo, aka, uh, okay, Flicky Engine. Yeah, I was one of the people who had trouble getting this game to run, so. Yeah, there's that, but I think it was worth all the work I went through to get it working. Either way. Yeah, this was uh, Sonic Overdrive. Really hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, I don't have much to say except for what I've already said about the game. There will be a link down below as always. You guys can put yourselves if you want. Also, check out the Sage site down below. Some really great games released for this year's Sage. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a nice day. Bye, everybody.